This is the first video in a series showing how to calculate um, your statistics in SPSS. So what these videos show specifically is how you can calculate it using the point and click method and then how that translates to syntax. So um, in this data set, we're looking at responses for um, a number of questions uh, and then some demographic information. So I'm in the variable view right now. And you can see here that I have gender and we can see the question with which gender do you most identify? And we can even see that there's values here. So this is numeric, that's the type of variable. And our values here, we have uh, value labels assigned so that we know that one equals man, two equals woman, three is non-binary or third gender. So we assign values in statistical programs so that we can do analyses with these categories. And so um, they're considered numeric, but they are uh, levels of a nominal variable. So gender is nominal, meaning that it's just a name. So we need to make sure that it's set up correctly here and we have measure says nominal, which is correct. So we're gonna leave that. And um, so now we have age. We collected how old are you and the values, there aren't any values assigned because it's just a number. So it's numeric and we're just asking people how old they are. So it's a scale level of measurement. Um, the scale uh, notation just means that it's interval or ratio, it's continuous measurement. Now the third variable we have is Hispanic. And you can see that the question is, are you of Hispanic, Latinx, or Spanish origin? And again, it's numeric, even though it's a category, it's yes, no. And this is um, set so that one equals yes and zero equals no. So these are our assigned values. And then here we have scores on positive affect, negative affect, and satisfaction with life. And here we can see that all of these scales are on a scale measurement. They're interval levels of measurement. And so they are set up correctly here. So all of our measures are set up correctly. Um, we don't have any missing values in this data set, so we're not gonna worry about that. But you should get to know your data before you do your analyses. So here in data view, looks just like a spreadsheet would. We have our uh, variables, our, our columns, and our, our answers, our people are our rows our responses are our rows per person in this case. So here we can see that this person was a woman, age 22, not Hispanic. Um, they have a positive affect total of 22, a negative of seven, and a satisfaction with life of 17. So we have nine responses here from different people. What we're going to do is we're gonna analyze this descriptively. And you want to do the correct analyses for the type of variable. So first, um, what you can do to learn a syntax, to get more familiar with it, you can actually go to edit in your SPSS menu and then go to options. And you can go to viewer and you can have it display commands in the log. So um, I don't always go straight to syntax. Sometimes I use the point and click and then I might copy it into my syntax or I might not use it. Whatever works for you, but you should know what the syntax does, what it's for. It's a big time saver. And so um, that is a very helpful process. So I now can display my commands in the log. And now we can see that my output has popped up. It's always good practice to save your output as soon as you have something. So I'm gonna save this. And I'm just gonna call this, um, this is my positive negative affect. And I'll save it to my desktop. I'll move it around later. So now I have this positive negative affect um, output that I can add to and I can actually modify it here. So let's keep this first video simple. Um, we're just gonna do some basic descriptive analyses. So first you can, if these are set up correctly, which they are, we just checked that, you can actually just right click on your variable um, and then you can do descriptive statistics. But it's more efficient typically to go the um, point and click route. And then of course, syntax is a lot more efficient. So we can go to analyze we can say descriptive statistics, 
And we're going to use frequencies first so you can see the differences here. So if we go to frequencies, let me reset this. Um, so you can see here that we have um, frequencies is our analysis that we have up. And we're going to choose what variables we're going to analyze. So here, uh, SPSS will uh, default to showing you the labels. And so if you right click, you can, that was very fast. If you right click, you can go to display variable names. You can also sort alphabetically. Um, you can sort by measurement level, all sorts of helpful things. So let's actually, let's sort by measurement level. So isn't that nice? It put it into um, categories for us. And we can see that we have our two nominal level measurements. These little dots indicate they're nominal. And what we're doing is we are going to get frequencies for those nominal level variables because it doesn't make sense to get means and standard deviations. Um, you can use this frequencies analysis to add other uh, statistics. So you can add things like quartiles. You can actually calculate central tendencies. Um, you can uh, calculate dispersion measures of variation here. And then there's also skewness, kurtosis. So you can do a lot with this frequencies. So for to start with, for gender and Hispanic, I just want to get some frequencies. That's really all I can do with those variables. So I'm going to say OK. Here you can see my syntax. So the um, you can click into this and you can copy. So if I copy this, I can put this into a new syntax. So I can copy and say, I want to use the command frequencies, and I identified my variables here. They equal gender and Hispanic. Those are the two variables I chose. And then this is just saying it's going to put it in ordered analysis. So I could go ahead and just use this in the future, and I could type this out. This is a pretty basic one, so it's pretty easy to, to just type this out in your syntax. So I'm going to move my syntax over here for the time being, and let's take a look at our results. So we can interpret this. We can see that we have frequencies for categories. Um, we have three men in our group, which is 33%. Uh, its valid percent is still 33.3 because we actually don't have any missing uh, values that would change with missing values. And then we have the cumulative percent. So this row here is 33.3%. Now, if we add women to that, we can see that we have five women, 55.6%. Valid percent remains 55.6%, but then our cumulative percent is these two rows added together. So this is a basic um, frequency table. And we also calculated that for the Hispanic um, variable, and we can see that information here. So now I could go back into my syntax if I wanted to, and I can just run it from there. So it's a great way, again, to save time. It's very efficient. You don't have to memorize all of these, um, all of these codes, all of these commands, uh, but it will save you some time if you get to know some of the most common. So now let's look at our other variables. And you can go to descriptive statistics and actually go to descriptives. Um, and you can see that there's different options here. So you can select a variety of different things. Um, but you can also do those with frequencies. So it really depends on what you're looking for, um, but you often just go straight to frequencies um, or you might do descriptive. So you'll decide what your favorites are, but they give you the same information. So again, I could go to frequencies and I could swap out my variables here and put all of my scale level of measurements into here. And I could say, you know what? This time I want median, mean, mode, um, and skewness. And I could calculate that. For the sake of showing you differences between um, procedures, we're going to go to analyze and descriptives. And I'm going to choose the descriptives option. So I'm going to choose again. Um, I'm going to right click, use my variable names, and I'm going to put all of my scale measurements over here. So I'm just going to move age, positive total, negative total, and our satisfaction with life. And if I go to options, I'm already calculating mean and standard deviation. That's, that's all I'm gonna get right now. Um, so I'm gonna say continue and okay.
So here you can see that here is our syntax. So I can copy this syntax and you can see how that works. Um, if your SPSS is behaving itself and you are not working in a Porto, uh, then it will be blue for a command um, that is complete and then red for the variables and uh, the, the specific um, commands that you're using for that, for that command. So here we are saying we're going to conduct some descriptives for our variables that equal age, positive total, negative total, satisfaction with life total, and we're going to calculate specific specific descript, uh, specific statistics, which are mean, standard deviation, min, and max. So you can modify these now that you have them here. But again, it's kind of a, a straightforward way of, of demonstrating this information. It shows it in a table. We have age, so how old are you? It tells us the mean and standard deviation. We have our mean and standard deviation. We also have the number, minimum, maximum for all of these variables. So the first step when you're doing descriptive analyses is making sure that you have the right levels of measurement and that you know what your goal is in the descriptive analysis. So again, these are your uh, basic descriptives for the uh, for syntax and how you would do that.